Hello everyone and welcome to this week's sermon prep. This week is, well this coming weekend is going to be the 30th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Now our liturgical year is made up of just 34 Sundays. So it means that after next week we just have four more Sundays remaining of the cycle of year C. And we're going to start again with the first Sunday of Advent in year A. Indeed, the year has gone by. We've reached the end of, of another year. Um, and we've got so much to be thankful for. But that's a story for another day. Our readings for this coming Sunday. Uh, our first reading is from the book of Sirach, um, chapter 35, um, verse 12 to 14, and then verse 16 to 18. And our responsorial psalm is from Psalm 34, verses 2 to 3, 17 to 18, 19, and 23. While our second reading is from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy, uh, chapter 4, verses 6 to 8, and 16 to 18. And our gospel is going to be a reading from the gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 18 verses 9 to 14. The prophet Sirach in our first reading says that uh, the Lord is the judge and with him is no partiality. He will not show partiality on the case of a poor man and he will listen to the prayers of the one who is wrong. He will not ignore the supplication of the fatherless nor the widow when he cries out to him. Or when he pours out her story it goes back to we've spoken about this in church i remember i asked do we think that god is fair and most of us picked up our hands and we said um, god is fair um, and there were a few who cheapishly also picked up their hand and they said in our experience god is is not fair and they had their reasons for saying that as well but what we're going to see, especially this, this, uh, this coming Sunday or the liturgy of this coming weekend, is that God is always on the side of those who are poor, those who really have nothing much to offer him. And that is what Ben Sira or Sirach is telling us in that first reading. Uh, as much as he says that God, God does not show partiality, but he goes straight to say that he listens. He listens to the fatherless, he listens to the poor, he listens to, to widows. God will always be on the side of those who are poor. And we find that in our responsorial psalm, our response to the psalm is the lowly one called, the Lord heard him. I will bless the Lord at all times. Praise of him is always in my mouth. In the Lord my soul shall make its boast. The humble shall hear and they shall be glad. The Lord is close to the broken hearted. Those whose spirit is crushed, he will save. The Lord ransoms the soul of his servants. All who trust in him shall not be condemned. The lowly one called and the Lord heard him. Those who, those who are in trouble. That's why the church is going to speak of the preferential treatment for the poor. That the, the poor somehow to be treated better than those who, who have. Uh, those who are in the margin of society should be treated better than everyone else. Those, those are our riches. Those are the important things in our life. And St. Paul, uh, in, in his letter to Timothy, uh, he says that I'm already at a point of being sacrificed and the time of my departure has come. I fought the good fight. I finished the race. I've kept the faith. In Paul, knowing the person that he was, he's almost saying goodbye to Timothy at this point. But he, he's, he's, he mentions something that is important. I fought the good fight. I finished the race. I've kept the faith. I've been faithful, in other words, from what the Lord wanted from me. And that's why he says that 
from from now on though is laid up for me the crown of righteousness which the lord will award to me on that day because that's what god does if we've been faithful faithful to his word but also faithful in what we should be doing what we should be turning to what we should what we should be answering to god will give us that crown of glory on the last day of our lives depending on how did we treat our brothers and sisters how did we use the resources that god has given us how much friendship did we have with the poor and then in our gospel reading from saint luke we hear the story uh, uh jesus begins a parable uh, to speak about those who trusted in him in themselves so we see the story of the pharisee and the tax collector a man who's the pharisee who is self-righteous and a tax collector who understands that in the eyes of god in the eyes of man he's never been a faithful person they go up both to pray and as they get there the pharisee thinks of himself as a better person he says god i thank you that i'm not like other men extortioners unjust adulterers and he says i'm even not like this collector who's next to me he says i fast twice a week i give tithes of all that i get it's about the external it's about the things that 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 that, that, that he does externally so that people can watch him and see how righteous he is but the tax collector standing far off would not even lift his eyes to heaven but he beats his chest and he says god be merciful to me a sinner and jesus says that this man this one who sees himself as a sinner goes home justified than the one who puts himself at an elevated level so as much as we take care of the poor as well the thing is why why do we do it it's easy to have a lot of money and just fork it out and then give it to people. But if it doesn't change you, if it isn't out of love, out of love of God, out of love of, of his church, but also of love of our brothers and sisters as well who are, who are on the periphery of the society. If we do it for ourselves and for our pride and to, and to make our egos big, it really doesn't serve us well. It really doesn't bring anything to us. So those are the readings for this coming weekend, the 30th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Um, I hope to see you guys there. And this coming weekend is going to be the last time that we speak about or we look at the glance at Mass. We'll be dealing with the concluding rites. So I hope to see you there in person and online. Have yourselves a blessed week. Take care. Bye-bye.